I'm D. Shan. First off, my wife and I, we'd like to say thank you for viewing our channel. Truly, we count it a blessing each and every time you view our videos. We are honored and privileged to have this platform to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless YouTube for allowing us to use this platform to promote the gospel. God bless you for taking heed to the words of the living God. God bless my wonderful wife. Mm -hmm. I am happy and blessed. Today, we have, and I do say we, because a lot of the times my wife gives me a word from the Lord and says, here, teach on this. So, we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you today. It's called Itching Ears. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 3 and 4 it is written for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Itching ears. Woo! Oh my goodness. Teach me what I want to hear. Not what I need to hear. No. That's what itching ears sound like. I'm too weak. It takes too long. I'm tired of doing the right thing all the time. That's what it looks like to not endure, to quit, to give up. When an individual or a group is inconsistent, sometimes not diligent, they don't take heed to sound doctrine. It's boring, too disciplined, too structured, not flexible. They want the group or an individual, a doctrine that teaches you there's no penalty for your actions. God just forgives everything. He loves you unconditionally. Whatever you do, good or bad, they want to hear that. They don't want to hear the doctrine that teaches you there's a penalty for your actions if they are good or bad. They don't want to be taught there's a penalty for words that come out of your mouth. They want to be able to use words that they say is in the Bible, but use them as a curse word, as slander or negativity. And because they didn't associate it with the Creator, they feel, oh, it's not that bad. They don't want a doctrine that holds you responsible, whether they are true or rumor, lies or hate, deceptive or honesty. An individual or group doesn't want to be held to that level of obedience. That's what sound doctrine is. A lifestyle that pleases our Heavenly Father because we love Him. 
based upon our love for him and based upon our love for our brothers who he created. Only the fallen desire to hear good things in their ears. And what they do is they look for someone who will teach them good things. Oh yes. They look for someone to teach them how to get blessed if you give a special offering, a special holiday offering, special sacrificial offering, ceremonial offering. Oh, you're going to get blessed. Oh, if you give this offering, you get a home, get a job, get a car, get a wife, oh, etc., etc. Because you gave on this offering, and it's special, it's unique. God's going to see it. He's going to bless you. Those with itching ears run to those teachers. Those that are fallen, of course. You see, the fallen, they lust after what sounds good, what makes them feel good. They want to hear about movies like a fable or a story and then try to take that movie and make it spiritual. Ah, the strange thing about that, fables don't require studying the Word of God. Fables require you to be carnal, sensual, attached to the things of this world. So you speak what the world speaks. You talk like the world talks. They understand that movie because they saw it. It had cursing. It had adultery. It had lying and stealing. They like that type. They're filling their spirits with that. So when you teach your fables, or when the teachers teach the fables, the fallen are attracted to that. Give large offerings to that. Woo! Did you hear them preach about that? That doesn't require the Word of God. That doesn't require putting line upon line and accurately serving God in the beauty of holiness. Oh no! Fables they feed off the lust of the eye. They feed off the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. That's what the fallen have chosen. Those are the teachers they want to listen to. Teach me how to look young. All the medication and products. I want to look young. I want to feel young. But when you study the word, our lives are like a vapor. So if we're here for a minute, a short minute, then we should be preparing for eternity, not for temporary. <laughs> but as it is written in the word of God, because God's word is true, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears. <laughs> and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Repent if you've had an itching ear. And you'll need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We need our Heavenly Father in every area of our lives. Itching ears. That's not for you. You're better than that. That's for the one that doesn't want to love the Lord our God with all of their heart, mind, soul, and strength. But we, huh, we want to love the Lord our God with everything that we have. And we want to love our brother as we love ourselves. 